Now in this video, I'm going to introduce the easiest way to add an online course to your website using a new plugin called Thrive Apprentice. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress videos for non-techies. If you enjoy the content in this video, I'd like you to consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you want video notifications, there's a little bell off to the right of that. When you click on that, YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. Now on on my website, I have online courses, but I'm using a full blown learning management tool called Lifter LMS. And now there's an, also another full blown learning management tool called LearnDash. And both of these are fantastic tools, but now we have a different type of tool to add an online course to your website. And it comes from the folks of that make Thrive Themes and this entire suite of plugins. I actually use a lot of their plugins on my website. If you're not familiar with Thrive Themes, they have themes and much more powerful plugins. I much more prefer their plugins than their themes. These are some really powerful tools that they create. And now they have a tool to make it so crazy, simple, easy to add an online course to your website. So I'm going to explain what this is, who it is, who it is not for, some of the limitations and why that might be a good thing to begin with. So anyways, uh, this actually used to be a feature that they built into their themes about two years ago and it was very limited and they didn't really improve it much. And so I actually started using the feature and then I stopped using it when I realized its limitations. And they gave a little bit of a reveal of information about a month ago that this would be coming into be its own plugin. And uh, they announced it actually yesterday. And here's the announcement post on it with a video on how to set it up. And you can come to here. I'll actually put a link in the video description. You can see there's already 165 comments, which is insane. Now, let me tell you what this is not. This is not a full blown learning management plugin. The idea behind this is to make it super easy to add maybe a free e-course or more of a basic online course to your website. Now they actually use it themselves right here. So if you are a member or a customer of Thrive Themes, they have this little area right here. They call it Thrive University and they're actually using Apprentice right here and that's what they do to facilitate their tech based and their video based lessons. So essentially you could create something that looks just like this. And I'm going to show you the actual plugin in a few minutes. So essentially you can have this grid of courses. They could be text or video and you can see right here it says text here. It says video. You can go ahead and uh, let's just show you what it looks like when you click on details to go in. You've got this cover image right here and then right here you have a little bit of info on the course and then you have a syllabus right here. And if you notice these two lessons right here I've actually viewed and that is why they are not grayed out like this. This lesson and you can see right here there's a progress indicator as well so if I go into view a lesson say right here you're gonna see that there is a very large video area which I like a lot underneath it you have some text-based information that goes along with the lesson and then you have that syllabus here on the right and then you have navigation to go to the next lesson or to the previous lesson I really like this now here are some of the things that I think this is great for. If you want to add a course to your website, but not break it up into lots of different modules and have quizzes and things of that nature, this plugin is going to be good for you. But if you need a full blown learning management system, but keep in mind a full blown learning management system also comes with complications in setting it up. This 
is not that. This is a perfect solution for anyone that just wants to add some basic courses to their website, have it all integrated and organized in a plugin to make it easy for the people that come to your website to navigate through it. Now, this is not going to facilitate selling access to the content. You'll need a membership plugin for that. And this is not going to facilitate securing that content to people that have paid for it. So these are just some of the limitations, but so many people probably just want a real simple way to uh, give access to maybe a three video lesson learning course, like as a lead magnet magnet or something that they're offering to people for free to generate leads or just something really basic. They don't need all this st extra stuff. And so before this, there really wasn't a way to have that organized like this and have a really simple way of delivering that. But you can see, you can also create courses that you then add a membership plugin to in order to secure and sell that content. But that is not what this plugin does. Now, I will include a link to this video right here. It's essentially going to show you how to set up your first course and how to make it so when someone registers, their email will go into WordPress so they have their access, and then that email will also go into your email marketing system of choice. And this is actually one of the things I really like about Thrive. They have this suite of plugins right here. So I'm logged into my account. I've been a customer since 2014 of theirs and I have their agency license. Uh, but you can see here, this is a suite of plugins that do something very unique. The best way I can communicate it, how I view it is, is with Apple products. So you have an Apple Watch, an Apple phone, an Apple TV, and a Mac computer, and you have these four separate devices, but they work beautifully together in harmony, pushing and pulling information, full integration back and forth. And that's what you get out of their suite of plugins. These aren't just a little hodgepodge of plugins that, oh, let me just make that one and let me copy that one and put that in the bundle. These are plugins that they've put together that communicate to each other and work together if you want them to. And that is what I like about the Thrive suite of plugins. There's other uh, development houses like, gosh, I'm forgetting the name of one of them where they've got, well, there's a couple, there's like WPMU Dev. Um, and then there's that other one I totally forget. They just have a million plugins, but none of them communicate with each other. They're all individual and standalone where there's intention behind everything you get from Thrive here. So anyways, this is Thrive Apprentice. Let me jump in and show you, uh, actually, I want to show you right here. They've got all this great documentation on it right here. But let's take a look at it and see how easy it is really to set up a course. Now, I haven't done anything with this site. I actually don't think there's anything on it. So let's just see what happens. And I haven't set up a test course before. I did watch that, that setup video though. And let's see how good I retain that information. So one of the things I like that they do is they, all the settings in the back end for their plugins, they, they put all in one location. So it doesn't take up so many slots here in the menu bar. So I'm going to go to Thrive Dashboard and then here it is, Thrive Apprentice and I'll go ahead and click on that and uh, this is what I'm presented with and I like this the first thing it's doing is it realizes I haven't set this thing up before and it's starting to walk me through it which I really like because I think where they're excelling in this plugin is in simplicity to set up to make it as easy as possible for anyone to set up so the first thing it's saying is we need a page that's going to be that directory page with all of our courses so for Thrive they have it here it's slash university so the name of the page is university and we have this index of courses so that's essentially what it's asking me I can choose a page if I've created one or I can go right here and create a brand new page so I'll just do what they did and I'll name this university okay now that I've entered that I'll go ahead and click on continue and let's see what it asks me next so this is saying the template that they 
use for that page where it's going to list out all the courses. Do I want to customize this? I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to click load default template. But of course, there's a full documentation right here on all of these various features. So now I'm at that very familiar, if you've used any Thrive product, that very familiar backend interface where I can start setting things up. So the first thing is add a new course. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on plus. Now keep in mind, this is what I'm doing to set up a course, but there's also some options up here in the top right as well for using Thrive Apprentice. So the first thing I need to do is give my course a name and then right here I can choose the slug. So when we were looking at Thrive University and then when I clicked into this this course right here, this is the slug where it says website from scratch. So I really like that it allows me to choose the slug as I'm setting up my course. And then right here we could put a description and this is something I really like. It's for that cover image. And what I like about it is right here, it gives you a recommended size for the dimensions. And I really like that because I don't have to guess what the size I need to put in or fiddle around with putting an image of the wrong size. It lets me know right up front. So I'm gonna go ahead, well actually, and then there's some advanced settings right here. And this is, I guess, where you can categorize your courses if you're gonna have more than one by topic. Right here, you can choose the author for the, and this would be the WordPress user for the course. This you'd probably want to not have it be the name of the user account. You'd probably want to go into WordPress users and change that. And you can also set a difficulty level. And if you're noticing, these are the same things that you see when you're in one of these active courses right here. So these would be like the categories right here and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out right now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled it out. I just put some, just threw some information in. I threw an image in. This actual image isn't even the right dimensions, but it's close enough. Uh, right here, I just put difficulty level easy. Now, this is one thing you could do to kind of protect the content of your course without adding a membership plugin, but you're not selling it, but you're requiring people to have given you their email address. And right here, you can choose to make this course only available for users that have logged in. Now, if you're going to use a membership plugin, you do not want to enable this. But if you're not going to use a, a membership plugin and you want to make sure that someone has opted in or kind of enrolled, quasi enrolled, you'll want to make sure you check on this. So then they would have to be logged in your website in order to watch the, or view the course or consume the content in this course. I'm going to leave it unchecked. If you look at this demo video right here, oops, right here, it's going to explain that a little bit more in depth. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on save and I've already created the course. Now now all I need to do is add some lessons. So you have this button here called add lesson. Obviously you click on it, you give your lesson a title. You can put some content to go beneath that area where you can have a cover image or you can have a video. So you would put that content right here. Now, if you're going to have a video, you don't need to put a large cover image in there because the video is going to take that place. So you would scroll down and you would choose a video type and it has native integration for these three platforms. But if you choose on custom, you can copy and paste in an embed code. If you're using some other service, I personally use a different service where I would have to use this embed code feature for my online courses. But I'm going to go ahead and just paste in a link to one of my YouTube videos. And what's nice because they have the specific integration, right Right here, you can enable some of these features like to autoplay, to hide the YouTube logo, to have control over the player controls. I really like that they're adding that for you. Now, just as a disclaimer, you do not want to host your videos for paid content on YouTube. You just don't want to do that. I think people have drilled that topic into depth. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple lessons here, and then we'll go to the front of the website and see how it looks. Okay. 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and added three lessons. I just gave them simple names and I put a video URL in there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click the publish button. I'm not sure if I need to click on publish just yet or if it will auto publish on my lessons. And I'm assuming I can drag and drop these around right here if I wanted to reorder them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish and just gave me the warning that I need to publish my lesson so that answered that so I'm gonna click on publish on each one of these lessons and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish right here for the course let's see what happens so it looks like my course is published I really like the way that they've leveled up their UI game at Thrive Lead Thrive Themes I really like the UI of this so far it seems very easy to use and I like that so okay so I can go here at new lessons or whatever I guess I can click on this preview button I'm a little paranoid to see what this is gonna look like because I haven't added anything but let's just see okay so here it is and actually it looks pretty good I kind of like it here so we've got that big cover image right there and here are the three lessons now if I probably would have put some text in those lessons it would be here I think that would have been a good idea but I didn't do it and then right here off to the side I have my three lessons and this would be my Gravatar so uh, in order to get your image in there you need to just go to Gravatar just Google Gravatar and add it to your email address and it all links up and I would want to change this from site admin to my name I'll show you how to do that at the very end so I'm gonna go ahead and click on start course and see what this looks like Oh, and there is my video and I didn't put any text information so here's just the title it would probably look visually look better if I did have some information in there so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this to go to the next lesson now on this third lesson I've set it to autoplay and used some of those YouTube options so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and let's see if it auto plays I'm gonna have to pause it as soon as it starts playing there it goes so let me pause it. Uh, wow, this is so easy to use. It's pretty amazing. So right here, I like it has the category of where I put this course. And right here it has the type of course that I made, which was a video course. Now you can actually use Thrive Content Builder to create some uh, visually looking nice stuff here in the content area. But so far, I gotta say, I really like this. This seems very easy to use. So let me go back into the back end and fix that Gravatar and the name that showed for the teacher. So all I have to do for that is I'm gonna go to users, I'm gonna go to your profile, which is mine, and I'm gonna change a few things. So I'm just gonna change the name, and I'm also gonna change the email address to one that I know has that Gravatar attached. Okay, so I put in how I like my name to be displayed, and I chose it in the option here, and then I put an email that I know has a Gravatar attached. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna click Update Profile, and when I scroll down, it should show my Gravatar Gravatar, there it is. And here's an actual link to set your Gravatar. So now let me go back into Thrive Apprentice and we'll see I have my course right here, which is nice. Oh, and this is where you can add different course topics, which is nice. Let's click on the preview index page. We didn't preview this. And uh, I guess the this isn't actually showing me the index page, it's showing me the course. But you can see right here it fixed the name and it fixed the Gravatar right there. So actually, let's see what the heck happened with my course index page. So anyways, if you wanted to edit the course, you can click here or add new course. Courses. You can see how stinking easy this is. So let's see, if I go to pages, it should have created that page. There it is, university. So let's open that up and see what it looks like. Okay, so it <laughs> when I open it up, I wonder if it's because I only have one course. It's jumping me right into here. It's either that or I need to set my permalinks. So that is a possibility as well. Let's see, nope, that's my correct permalinks. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and try to add another course really quick to see if I need more than one course available in order, or added to the um, Drive Apprentice in order to show that course index page. I'd really like my course index page to look like the Thrive University one, how slick it looks, and it has this uh, sorting and filtering option right here. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna go to Thrive Dashboard. I'm gonna go to Apprentice and I'm gonna go ahead and click on new course. I will be right back with you. Okay, so we're back. I went ahead and added a new course right here. I only added one lesson. So now let's see what happens when I click on preview index page. Ah, well, this actually worked exactly the way I had hoped it would. Now, the reason it's showing the same image is because I used the same cover image for this second course. And you can see, wow, this visually looks very nice if you ask me. I really like how this one shows that it's a video course. And I really like the subtle hover effect. So when I hover over it, you could see that drop shadow or box shadow kind of appears and it gives the appearance of the uh, course that I'm hovering on lifting off the page. And then right here, there's a progress bar. I I really like this a lot. I gotta say that I'm pretty impressed with how this looks. Now you saw how easy that was to set up this course. It's really just a matter of getting your content in there and I'm actually very, very impressed with the simplicity of using Thrive Apprentice. So I guess right here you could add different course topics and you can assign a color. So right now we just have general and this is the color that's attached with it. So if I added a new course topic, I could just click on this, pop my topic in and then change the color. So I've gone ahead and named it growth and I made it green. So let me go back and put one of these courses in that other category. So I'll put this one right here. It's tagged as general right here. So I'm going to edit the details and I'm just flying through this even though I have never used it before. I'm going to change this to growth, click on save like this. And then I'm going to go back to the dashboard and now we have two different course categories and I'm assuming that we could change this icon too. So now let's see what the index page looks like. There we go. This is actually what I wanted, the filter. So right here you can see this is using that green and this is using the blue. Wow, I got to say this is really easy to use. Might make me rethink what I'm doing because I'm not using quizzes or some of the advanced features of the learning management system that I'm using. Uh, and then here's where you can filter it. So if you had a bunch of courses, you can easily filter through them. So I got to say right off the top that I am very impressed with Thrive Apprentice so far. I wonder what this template settings is. Um, okay, so there's lots of other things that you can tweak around. I'm not gonna get into it right now. I gotta say, this product sure seems like a winner. Now, the negative is, I, right now, I don't think you can just go and purchase it. I think you have to just be a member of Thrive Themes. So you can buy all the products individually, or you can just buy a membership. The membership, I think, is uh, it's like $20 a month or something, and you can install them all on unlimited websites, all of their entire suite of plugins. They have Thrive Leads, which is a direct competitor, more feature rich, in my opinion, than Optin Monster, which is $20 per month on its own. And then, of course, you have Thrive Content Builder. Now, I will say with Thrive Content Builder, they have version two of that right around the corner. They released a few uh, glimpses of it. I can tell you that I have used Thrive Content Builder 2.0 and it's going to be a massive improvement. I really like what they're doing and I believe that should come out sometime in the next two months. And you also have Thrive Ultimatum. I use that plugin. You have a Thrive Ovation, which is a really amazing tool for collecting testimonials, tagging them and displaying them throughout your website. You have all the themes. I do know that they're going to come out with one theme that's going to be an improvement on all of them and it'll work perfectly with all of the things that they're putting together and there's just stuff after stuff that they have. But the best part is it all communicates and works together. So I think what I might end up doing is having a tutorial video. I already have a tutorial video on using member press, uh, but I would like to maybe make one using member press with the Thrive Apprentice courses 
to show you how to do that and maybe find maybe a more affordable plugin option. A good membership plugin is going to be about $99 and you're not going to want to go cheap on something like that because that's what you're going to use to collect the money, charge reoccurring, protect the content. So you want something well supported uh, that's cleanly coded and easy to use and will give you excellent support. Right now it'd be Restrict Content Pro or Member Press. I'll put links to both down below. I'll put links to this Thrive Apprentice down below. Now, what do you think about Thrive Apprentice? I would like to hear in the comment section down below. I know I didn't go into every little nook and cranny of it, but you got to admit, I think for their target market, it is perfect. Not everyone wants quizzes and all of this complicated stuff that really is a, um, a drawback and really holds people back from actually just getting their course out there. And this is a great, simple solution for that. And I really got to hand it to them for making something different, making something beautiful and making something that's easy to use. But that's just what I think. I want to know what you think down below in the comments section. Hey, thank you for watching this video.